On August the 6th, 1945, two American Super Fortress bombers arrived over the Japanese city of Hiroshima on the world's most devastating military mission. The Enola Gay, with Colonel Paul Tibbetts at the controls, was about to drop the first atomic bomb, a weapon conceived by a group of international scientists based at Los Alamos in the United States. So far, no one knew exactly what effect the bomb would have, either on the unsuspecting inhabitants below or on the crew of the plane itself. They were soon to find out. As soon as the bomb went off, the whole inside of the airplane just lit up as if someone had set off a flash bulb. And then we had to wait, and this was our big worry, is what would the blast do when the blast got to the airplane? And finally the blast did arrive. It was like being in an ash can and getting someone kicking. And then we uh, crowded to the window and uh, saw uh, this, just the whole city completely covered in smoke with this very tall mushroom cloud rising from it. President Truman had already threatened the Japanese with a rain of ruin from the air, the like of which has never been seen on this earth. When the truth was revealed, his words seemed an understatement. Buildings vaporized, so did the clothes on people's backs. Was it a bomb that should never have been dropped? Some people thought so. Others argued that it shortened the war and kept the subsequent peace. One thing was not in doubt. Hiroshima taught mankind the awful truth about nuclear weapons and just what horror they could bestow.